Here we are, Grand and Rising. Grand Rising! Grand Rising! Beautiful souls in this world, because you done know that we are not of this world. Cool baby day, you done know the thing already. Here we are, Grand and Rising, on this beautiful and blessed Friday rising it is Friday and we made it to the end of the week I know some of us like myself still have to work during the weekend but that's okay God is still good and will forever be good amen the fact that we are able to wake up have the breath of life and have a work to go to right that's an amazing thing and so I just want to say good job for making it through the week right and so today i want to talk about how are you going to maneuver through this new season many of you are in a new season and you know it you feel it you know it you hear it you can taste it right you know that you are in a new season now what you don't know is how things are going to happen how god may have given you like some foresight of certain things in your life in certain areas of your life and you may, may be like okay so i do believe god that this is going to happen because if god said so then it shall be so but i just don't know how it's going to happen because it, it's not looking like it around me right it's not feeling like it around me now you know hear and feel right we said you can taste it that you are in a new season but the how you don't see that you're not seeing it feeling it hearing it like what what's transpiring around you in your natural is not looking good right some of you it may be your financial situation maybe your finances have been dried up okay some of you maybe it, be, it may it might be your job maybe you, you're you're just you, you you have felt that you know time has ran its course with wherever whatever job you're in right or wh whatever place wh whatever location you're in maybe it's it's where you rest your head is where you live right maybe it's certain friends it, may, it could be anything in your life and only you would know it right because god would have shown you god would have have been telling you over the course of time that you know you're about to this is about to be your exodus time thank you holy spirit this is about to be your exodus time Jesus and you're about to exit out of a wilderness and so what do we call wilderness we call wilderness like you know a type of bondage almost right like something that you've been bonded to and maybe you were supposed to be there for a certain time maybe you know a lot of times God will have you at places with people doing things for a specific season right maybe because he needed to mold you in that in whatever area that is maybe because you he needed you to gain um specific skill sets right for where he's taking you it could be for numerous of reasons you guys but when the time has come when the time is up for that thing for that place for that person because god says so not because of anything else because god says so so when when the time is up the time is up beloved and you don't want god's presence to leave a thing and you still there that's deep you don't want God's presence to leave a thing and you still remain there. And God done left the scene. We talked about this before. When God leaves, you leave. When he moves, you move. And just like that. Okay? So, you don't see the how. You don't see anything. But this is what Holy Spirit was really emphasizing to me. Is we're in this natural we can only do things naturally. We can only do things, everything that we can control. We can only do it in our carnal, natural way, right? But it is God. What is that little sprinkle that adds to your situation, that adds to your circumstance, that adds to your new season, that adds to your to, to you coming out of your wilderness, right? You exiting out. What is that sprinkle? That is Jesus Christ. That is his power, his might, my God. That is his strength right so i just want to let you know that you gotta let him add his super on your natural 
right? We know that when God touches the scene, it's supernatural, meaning it's not the norm in the carnal. It's not the norm in the natural. It becomes supernatural, something that only he can do. Amen. And so I came here to tell you today, beloved, and myself, I, I, I thank Holy Spirit for this. I come to tell us today, thank you, Holy Spirit, that we got to allow God to do his, put his super on our natural, put his super on our natural. And how does that look like? That looks like you taking your hands off what you cannot control. We talked about this, and it's no coincidence that Holy Spirit wants to keep emphasizing this and repeating, keep repeating this, right? Let go of what you cannot control. What you cannot do, let go of it. And not only that, don't just stop there. But stop worrying about it. Stop stressing about it. Stop, stop worrying. The Bible tells us, why do we worry for what? First of all, tomorrow has its own problems, right? So why are we thinking about, oh, well, well tomorrow, but I got to do this. But next week I have to, but next month I, the bill is due. But why are we worrying about what's not the present moment? And if we if we don't have the finances, if we don't have the things that we need for whatever the situation is, if we can't do nothing else about it, if nothing else if there's nothing else that we can do to change the situation or whatever, be still and know that your Abba is God of the universe. And that he loves you. And that you are called according to his purpose. So that everything will turn around for your good. And that he, my God, he pro, he's your provider. Be still and know the Abba that you claim to serve. And take your hands off. And then let him, that's the only then God could really allow his super to hit your natural and it becomes supernatural and you start to see things start to spring up things start to spring forth and you start to see what god was implementing indicating to you little by little god, the thing about abba is that you gotta know, remember you gotta know him you gotta know the lord and love him right uh, what i learned about his characteristics is that we talked about one of his characteristics is doing things at the last second, right? And then the other one is when he, in between, before he does a big thing, before he allows a big thing to happen, in the process, he'll sprinkle like little things here and there. He'll do little things here and there. And it, we say little, but it'd be so big because it moves your spirit so much and it builds your faith. So he'll be doing, he'll be sprinkling stuff here and there to show you, oh yeah, I'm here to show you, oh yeah, you can't do this on your own to show you, oh yeah, it's going to take me to show you, oh yeah, it's going to take my super on your natural. Amen. So beloved, I come to encourage you today. Sit back, let go of control, cruise, hit the cruise. Look, look, this thing say cruise right here. Hit the cruise control and you cruise and you let your Abba lead you, guide you, direct you, right? While you are exercising your faith. You're not just sitting there now. You got to be exercising your faith. You got to be praying you got to be walking around with an attitude of faith don't just say okay yeah i'm gonna believe but then your heart ain't doing that don't just say oh yeah i'm gonna believe god for this thing but then your mind and your heart and the words you're speaking is not doing that everything got to be in alignment so be exercising your faith be moving talk faith faith talk faith walk right faith think faith speak right and before you know it before you know it so remember a lot of us are coming out this is the exodus season and if god leaves you go ahead and read exodus y'all read exodus because and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna read exodus and i've been telling god like you know i'm like lord i, I read my bible but i know you know where i where i'm coming from when it comes to reading my bible and with the things that's been happening in my life i haven't been like i normally do so i know i could do better and i was telling about that i want to i want to you know get back into my routine we talked about resetting yesterday y'all this is for real this is for real and i told you yesterday it's in your reset that's how that's what's gonna catapult you into this new season that's what's gonna catapult you to exit exodus exit out of where god is taking you from and bringing you to amen 
so i love you guys so much this is a beautiful friday word thank you holy spirit this is so beautiful so let's ask god to give us the courage and strength to to withstand and endure as we do this because we're going to do this if you have a heart for god then you are going to push past whatever obstacle whatever odds is trying to be against you're going to push past that amen and when god sees your heart and he sees your effort and he sees that you actually diligently seeking him and you want the better that he has for you he don't play around he's a good good father he ain't no parent that's gonna sit around and just watch you and no he's a good good daddy okay and that's even an understatement he's a good father so he's gonna move on your behalf beloved i'm telling you your father loves you that much so i love you guys i pray that you have a beautiful and blessed weekend okay remember tomorrow i am going live at 1 45 p.m eastern standard time so make sure you tune in for that i love you guys so much big up and bless up yourself make sure you are tuning into the website www.tv17 visions with a z at the end.com guys God is so good and we just got to stay steadfast, okay? Stay steadfast. I love you.